Hello, everybody. The king has arrived. There he is, Snorlax, Cyrus Snorlax. The Burger King himself. His majesty himself standing there atop, leading everybody to victory. And speaking of victory, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse just barely did not get victory last time, but we're going to be seeing mm -hmm. them again, trying to reprise that that rule in their life, trying to get a win this time. Yeah. And their enemy, though, is going to be, it's a name you've heard before if you're an eSports fan, it's Tedward Gaming. Maybe a little bit different from what you've heard, but this time it's yeah. Tedward Gaming. Right, so yeah, they had to avoid the, uh, the copyright laws. TDG. Yeah. I mean, if they live up to their name, uh, I'm expecting as good gameplay as the actual EDG. Like, so. even if they're, like, off-brand EDG, then that's still, like, yeah, that's still, still pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, that's still pretty good. It's like the... <laughs> it's the yeah the EDG we have at home. Um, exactly. It's like the 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 dollar store orange juice, you know. It's still good. It's, it's still just, really good. Yeah. They're still gonna bring their A game and bring the best game they got. So I know this is gonna be an absolute explosive match. I know Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is looking to get this win. You know, you don't want to start things out with a double loss. You want to try and make it as far as you can, especially if you travel a little bit to make it here today. Mm -hmm. But. With all that being said, it's going to be a tough walk back because this is best of ones. You cannot get a read on that enemy team. Right. It's going to have to adapt while you play. Totally. Um, how do you think that this match is gonna, uh, matchup is going to go? Are we going to stick to our, uh, our being uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse believers? I am or going are to you say, switching allegiances? I'm going to say Tedward Gaming is going okay. to win. I'm going all in. If I'm right. a betting man, I would bet all my money on Tedward Gaming. Mm, all right. To win. Oh, I'm a real one, it. so I'm going to stick by Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I think they have my heart. I think they have a good shot as well. This should be a very competitive, very fun game to watch. But nonetheless, I think Tedward Gaming... I think they're the dark horse coming into this. We don't know what, no, why do you think that? what they have in store. We don't know. We haven't seen them. They're a mystery. True. I mean, by that logic, wouldn't all of the teams be dark horses? Oh, no. We saw Mickey Mouse Clubhouse before. We've oh, seen oh. what they got oh, going on. Yeah, right. Sorry. We've seen their, 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 their special tool that they bring hmm. for later. It didn't quite work out for them, so maybe they'll bring a different tool this time. Yeah, one thing about Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they have several tools. It's not just one tool. Ooh. You gotta like try different things, try new strats. Like Bob the. I builder. forgot. I'm trying to make an analogy, but uh, has yeah. the whole tool belt <laughs> at the disposal. Yes. But this is going to be very, very exciting. I'm excited to see what the matchups are, what the maps are going to be. But with all that being said, we're gonna throw it to a very quick break as all the teams get into position. We'll see you very soon.
Hello, everybody. We are here back at the summoning here for round two. We're just about to get started. This one should be one to remember. Tedward Gaming versus Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse coming off of a little bit of a loss. Wants to make this one a big win. Let's see it. Tedward Gaming. Who is Ted? What did he do? What did he do indeed? He and he is gaming. That is a fact here. And I don't know. Yo, know, anyone can be gaming. Let's be real. Well, yeah, obviously. Your grandma can be gaming. Your little brother can be gaming. But the, today, Tedward is gaming. Oh, yeah. Like, my grandma is an avid solitary gamer for, yeah, like, many years. We know many mothers who are mad candy crush addicts. Oh, yeah. My mom's so, one of those. Which kind of gamer is Tedward going to be? Is he going to be an immortal? Is he going to be a radiant level uh, threat here in the VCT? Or is he going to be a Candy Crush player? We'll have to see where Tedward lies on this scale. I'm mm -hmm. ranking, I'm betting somewhere close, closer to ascend it to immortal. Yeah, I would hope for the sake of this tournament <laughs> that uh, he's more of a Valorant gamer than a solitaire gamer, personally, you know? For sure. But, you know, we have Valor here, but that's not all we have going on today. We have so many more events, so many more games in store. We have so many fighting games. Our friend Daniil, a friend of the show here, is off and running those. He's in charge of all those lovely things. As you can see, we have Smash Brothers Melee. We have Ultimate a little bit further on in the distance or a little bit closer by. We have Tekken going on in the background as well. There he is. There's Daniil. There's the it man counts. of the hour running the whole thing. And Jay <laughs> Jay, one of my friends as well. Great time to be had. There's the lovely Smash Ultimate players there getting their games and a few familiar faces. That's a guy cosplaying Sephiroth. Sorry. Just had to point that one out there. <laughs> and, of course, we have Street Fighter VI as well. A lot of fighting games. But the unique thing we got going on the summoning. Sure, we have fighting game tournaments. Sure, we have these games as well. We also have up there in the top right, we have Pokemon Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all the other TCGs you could even think of. One Piece yeah. card game. We War also have Hammer. Flesh and Blood, Warhammer 40k. We also have Disney Lorcana, if that's your thing as well. We have everything under the sun you could possibly want. Absolutely amazing For day sure. to be had. Honestly, it's, it's been a hot minute since I've seen any kind of trading card game, but I was an avid Pokemon player back in the day. We are going to start our match between Tedward Gaming and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, the OGs on Haven. And so far, it seems to be just a pretty standard vanilla Haven comp from both sides. Yeah, I think it's a mirror comp. That's I, cool. I like a mirror comp every once right, in a yeah. while. You kind of get to see who plays... Uh, yeah, who works around the comp better, who plays it better. Yeah, who I plays like to see the, the comparison, yeah. you know? I'm excited to see all these players. We got Sev, we got Lula, we got Nyx. We have Snorlax. I don't know if Snorlax was a player. We saw him oh, there on wow. stage. But he's actually a player. I thought he was just, you know, you know, like the good looks, maybe the coach for the team. But no, <laughs> we also have a Duck a Doobie there on the side of Tedward Gaming. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to be Cuddy Rohu and Doomsie and Cloud once again. In the lineups for both teams, is going to be an Omen, a Breach, a Jet, a Sova, and a Killjoy. Right, so we can't forget about the, the man of the hour, the the. So the t Sova on Tedward Gaming, just the random key smash of letters. I think I'm going to be referring to them as just key smash. I'm just going to go with from it. here on because I don't know how to pronounce that. We are going to see. Try. Hmm? I'm going to try to pronounce it. Good luck. Murf More power to you for that. I'm not that yeah, strong. I'm not as strong as you. We are going to see Duck a Doobie putting up that split B C setup turret on C to watch Garage and the exec. I love that. Rohu. Meanwhile, on the attacking side, was staring at a wall. The but it seems like... No, it seems like Rohu is just going to send like a solo dart towards C. But I think exactly. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is intending to end A. Or at least make some space on A. Yeah, the ancient BC setup there from the ancient era before Christ. As we all know, <laughs> the BC setup. Anyways, Nyx here in Garage. Going to be holding everything strong. Snorlax pushing up. There we go. Nyx going to find one move back over here to the corner. Going to push up once again. Rohu trying to get in this garage. Knocking on his door. Finds 
them through the war. I think he gets a bullet or two, gets one, gets the trades. No one else is going to find another, though. Trades left and right. It's an absolute gunfight here in the mid. And going to find one, looking for another, but gets taken down. That's going to be Ted or Gaming, gaming all the way to round one victory. Not bad at all. And we got the, the GOAT key smash getting that final kill. Not bad at all. I do notice Ant is on Duelist now. Last game uh, versus the Gangy, they were on Brimstone. So I see they're a, a, a um, very much uh, cryo cells esque, you know, has sometimes smokes, sometimes duelist. Exactly. I'm excited to see their jet on this map, though, considering how much they were fragging on Brimstone, now that they're more um, enabled to take those fights and hopefully win those fights. Yeah, I think this kid better. Should, uh, should do very well by them. I think they're going to be very, very. Happy going into this round. So you see the garage holds from the open once again. Seb gonna have to back off. Nick's going on the offense, finding a one just barely. One more right click, that would have ended it. But just barely getting out here. Sev on the back line with Doob Ducka Doobie here. Trying to hold things steady. This smoke is about to go down. Bolts up at the fly. Rohu funds one. Dash goes in. Ducka Doobie on the backside. Gets flashed out and gets Stuck taken out. Couldn't get through the door. Now another one goes down. It's a 2v3 situation. Bomb is ticking though. Tedward Gaming needs to move quickly if they want to win this one. Only one left. It's Snorlax finding one. Looking for another. They need to move quickly. Finds another. Oh Just one more is left between them and Victor. But time is ticking. They have to fake it. Get the kill. They Can they it. get the defuse? And I they think they it. do. Yeah, that was insane work from Snorlax. Snorlax is just multi talented, you know? Sitting on the stage, coaching the team, playing the game. What a good clutch from Snorlax. That was 1v3, wasn't it? I believe it was. That yeah. was perfect work. I love the jet dash movement, the backwards to reposition really quickly. That's crazy. I, so cool. Verticality in FPS games is like. My kryptonite, I think. As, <laughs> I, as I can see so many others, too. And yeah, just work on one plane, the X plane. You exactly. don't want to have to deal with the Y. No. That's why people love the original Doom. There is no Y. It That's looks true. like there you is, but you shoot. Side. It's just side to side. Keep it simple. But uh, these people are not keeping it simple here. They're going for the crazy plays. Shooting arrow over to C. Getting it in the back line. But Duck Doobie's prepared. Seen that trick before. And gets it taken out of the sky. Cuddy trying to lead the charge here. They're going to rotate over. They see a little too much util over on that C site. Yeah, Nick's looking to play off that Killjoy alarm bot. Is trying going to try to swing out, get a pick on the cloud. Unfortunately, the shots do not connect. Nick's TPing away, keeping their life, but with a little less health and no shield. Meanwhile, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse probably looking to end A here. Everyone's kind of grouped up. Killjoy is lagging a bit behind, but that's okay. You know, Senti roll, that's what they're meant to do. Snorlax watching, keeping Sentry up in heaven. Shots also do not connect. They're getting spammed, trying to jump down out of heaven, but they're not able to. As I say that, never mind. They jump down into hell. Ant, though, picks them off. And now it's up to the rest of Tedward Gaming to hold down the site, and they will do so successfully, but they don't Ooh. know they're running into Nyx. Nyx does find that first kill. He gets traded out by Doomsie. And now it is just free pickings for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse to go back to A, but they weren't expecting Key Smash to, to walk up. Luckily, Ant was prepared. Does end up finding that kill, Ant dashing into sight. Just wow! They don't care. They're just going to dash in, get four, and secure the round for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Excellent work from Ant. Yeah, and there's man. that fragging I was talking about earlier, that sort of being enabled to uh, just frag out, take fights, coming into effect. Yeah, I think just that little bit of nibbleness granted to Ant and not being on that slow uh, brimstone grabs them so much more versatility here. He still has those smokes he can lay down. I'm sure they're not as good as the broom smokes, but they still have a little bit of util. You just have the rest of that movement to carry yourself to victory. I mean, Ant, just doing amazing right now. And now it looks like it's a split push once again, taking things slow and steady. They don't want to overcommit. Long gunfight happening over on C-Long. Going to be quit out on the side of Tedward Gaming. They're going to be all pushing over on to C. B is wide open right now. Yeah, it seems like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is doing a bit of a default, just trying to explore their options, get in as much info as they can before they commit to anything. But Tedward Gaming, they think they have a read, and they're somewhat correct, because I think that Mickey Mouse Clubhouse are looking to end C through Garage. Wait, no, as I say that, maybe ending B instead? Could be, could be. But still, it's well, an easy rotation. 3 HP. 
Oh, Cloud on 3 HP and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse execing into B. Snorlax holding the choke. Shots don't connect. Cuddy gets that plan down and now Tepper Gaming are on a bit of a ticking clock. Yeah, tick tock goes the clock as they move around the corner. Zev gets one. Wow, Snorlax gets two. Looking for a third. Can't quite get it though. Gonna sh maybe Ant shut him down, but uh, the little gets him down. And then we see Cuddy. Not going to win the 4v1, and now to Edward Gaming stretching even further into the lead, making this one 3 to 1. And well, they have a significant lead right now. These games are very, very close. Mm. I thought Snorlax was going to kind of do a repeat of last round where they just dash in and kind of dry with like almost no util and just get three. But uh, they were halfway there. They got two, I think. As I s Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Kind of starting to lean over towards C, Tedward Gaming, looking to get aggressive up mid. Hopefully they can find a pick here on grass, but we will see. Misha, I like that spray. <laughs> I think that was part of the um, the arcade gun set. I think you're right. A little VR dog, but these dogs have some bark to... And they're going to have some bite as Snorlax finds one with the knives. Nyx gets the other. He's all on the prowl. Needs to get another kill, though, for the reset. Mm. Only have one knife left to his name. Needs to land it square in the head. Still. Give me a duel there. Doesn't get it, but he still has a gun to make up for it. 2v5 for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Cuddy and Doomsie each getting their own winning. Those 1v1s. Nyx is going to bring it down to a 1v3. Oh. Doomsie just barely living, gets the kill off the stun. Flashes nobody, but they're unaware of Key Smash. Flanking them. It is done. And that's it. That's over said. It is done. The round is over. Four to one for Tedward Gaming. Yeah, a very big start for Tedward Gaming, but they kind of fell apart there. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse really stood firm, took a quite a few of them out. They almost took that one for themselves, but right now Tedward Gaming just having an absolutely dominant lead so far. Totally. Yeah, I, was, I, I noticed that uh, I think Mickey Mouse Clubhouse took a timeout last game as well, but um, it was a lot later into the game, so I think they kind of learned that uh, earlier timeouts would probably suit them better. I'm glad that they're kind of taking that initiative, trying to like nip problems in the bud um, as they appear, instead of just kind of, I guess, letting it simmer. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think of that? I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, but I think, I don't know, it's going to be tough for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse to come back from this. They're giving very competitive rounds, but it seems like Tedward Gaming is just coming out on top just by a hair every single round. Yeah. Do you think they're getting out-aimed, or is it more like a strategy thing? I think it's... I think it's a bit of both. I think it's the staying calm under pressure. Mm. I think Tedward Gaming goes in with a plan. I think Mickey Mouse Clubhouse comes in with a plan as well. But I think Tedward Gaming can just deal with those very intense scenarios. Like, they turned it around when they had bomb. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse had bombed down. They had the man advantage. But the fact that uh, the player on the jet on Tedward Gaming, he just stayed firm. He mm. stayed locked in. He stayed up there in the rafters. Had the trigger discipline, the time discipline to not rush in there, take a shot too early. He waited for everyone to line up, took them out one at a time. Totally. Got their victory. Can I throw a theory out there? Sure. I think that a thing uh, with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is that sometimes they don't take enough time to um, That's a big get ult, by the way. Map control and info. And uh, yeah, that there's the... There's the <laughs> <laughs> the consequence of not a lot of map control as Tedward Gaming just push out Garage, just end the round in like, what was that, 15 seconds? Yeah, that was a very, very quick round. Tedward Gaming just has such confidence going in now because they have so many monologue. rounds to burn and they have so much money to burn as well. Right. Luckily, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse are able to buy here, but um, we'll see. They'll really have to win this round, otherwise their economy is kind of going to be in the dumps. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, t uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they tend to not get enough um, map control and info on like where everyone is, in my opinion, before they decide to exec. So maybe if they if they went towards more of like a defaulty style of play, I wonder how that would work out for them. Indeed. They're going to go for the full offense, though, instead, all stacking into this A rush, finding two gonna fall down, finding one through all the chaos. Another one goes down, Snorlax just getting these dash resets time and time again, using another out of bullets though and out of time with the flash. It somehow has been whittled down to a 2v2 situation. 
but it's going to be very, very tough for both teams here. Nyx and his teammate going to have to go for a double pinch here, but no, Nyx going to just clean it up all in his lonesome. Perfect. Honestly, you know, maybe the Tedward Gaming, maybe the Edward Gaming we have at home isn't so bad after all, because so far they are looking very, very strong. They seem very aware of pretty much everything that Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to do, and they seem like they... They're just, like, responding in all of the right ways. It seems very easy for them, like light work. Exactly. It's it's, it's just like a, a dance for them. Yeah. They've rehearsed it. They know what to do. And now it's just the performance here. Oh, note the, note the dance party? Yeah, the dance Nick's party's in the spray. Gone. Love that. It's great. But now Nick's off angle. Doesn't get the headshot, though, but gets two tags in on that jet. It's going to be at least armor will be going down a little bit. So it's going to be tough one to fight from from there, but then we have Duck a Doobie there going in on Garage. Doomsie over on, I think that's A main holding that one a very close angle. Then we see Duck a Doobie pushing in. Cloud once again moving, laying down some smokes. A very slow round. We haven't seen one of these in quite a while. Yeah, not the breach. They uh, pushed up into A lobby already. Just looking for that. Timing. I don't think they're they're aware. I don't think Seth has done something oh like this God. yet. What an off angle! I don't see that very much. Oh, the trigger! Oh is no, the so trigger good. does a blend. Oh. One, two. Oh, if that was a three, that would have been massive. There was a world where they got four. Honestly, honestly. that perfect play. I did not catch the username, but perfect play from that breach. Key smash. Meanwhile, in hell, holding it down. Spike is down. Two Just weak. Last two are weak. Just one bullet help? away. Barely. And luckily picking up three on the round, bringing it to a 1v1. But Ant, they are one shot. Ant versus Nyx. Who will win it out? Run and spray. Run and spray. Maybe not with a Vandal, but we'll see. Ant, they seem to be aware. They know Does, the shots do not connect. Ant needs to plant this bomb. Ant has the constitution of an ant right now. Just a breeze will take him out. Just one well-placed bullet. As long as it's not a foot shot, he should be good. Going to be blind. The TP goes through. He doesn't know where he is. Didn't hear it. Oh, the oh no. Nyx has to win this out, I think. Nyx has to get this. Oh, he's running for time. And he gets a headshot to clear it so anyways. Well played. So well played by Nyx. Insult to injury right there. He didn't even need to get that one, but he got it anyways. Just getting that little bit of extra moolah totally. deprived from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Well played by Ant, though, too. They picked up three. Honestly, tried their best. but Oh, uh, Ant did amazing. Yeah, ultimately. Sometimes you just need that one extra person to help you, and uh, this time it, they just did not show up for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, but the, that's okay. The Breach just being in that snake position there yeah, on that, that off-angle corner. That getting two for free for them, was... I think. Yeah, the two for free was absolutely insane. Snorlax stand on top of the kill feed right now, but it looks like Ant is trying to topple him as he's pushing in very aggressively through this B main push, trying to take this B corner as well. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, again slowing it down. Most they have a jet lurk walking a B, which it's looking like my ranked games. But that might not necessarily be a bad thing if Ant oh. can get a kill, and they do. But meanwhile, on the other side of the map, trades are going through Doomsy, and and Key Smash, and just <gasps> everyone is dying. Nyx is unaware of Ant walking up grass does give them a weapon and now it is a 3v2 in favor of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for the first time in quite a few rounds. Yeah, Nyx just looked away at the wrong time right there. We need to get this kill on the Ant, shut him down, stop his tracks. Duck a doobie now. Needs to somehow push on the site with his jet. Double push is the way to go in the smoke. They know where he is. Going to gun him down. Needs to get a crazy play right here. They're going to try and run out the clock. He's 20 health. Gets one. Needs to get one more. We're going to see a little bit of a ring around of the rosy action. Going the right way. And Snorlax saves it. From the break. 20 HP. Little time left on the clock. But somehow, Tedward Gaming clutches it out. 8 to 1 is the scoreline. And can you even blame them at this point? Not at all. Honestly, I... Snorlax has to be the standout player of this match for me. Their aim has been so clean. Their just general awareness and like game sense, from what I've seen, has been really good too. And the fact that they got two like clean headshots on 20 HP, it's just insane. like. And yeah, not freaking out when they're spraying in smoke. Yeah, Didn't move, that's just was like, thing. they're not going to hit me. Yeah, they're so calm too. Like, I don't think I've seen them like panic spray once. No.
They are locked in. They are quiet as the sea before a storm. And it looks like we might see a storm as the Jets Ooh. have their blades. Risky. Nick's also a really good player on the side of Tedward Gaming. A lot what? more of a support player Whoa. getting insane plays. Just a little bit more cerebral, a little less twitch, but oh. getting 4K. It's going to seal the deal for their team. And that's going to be Sev getting the cleanup kill on Ant. I don't want to say it's over, because it's not. <laughs> it's not. But it's not if over. if you have players, like more than one player, playing so well on your team like that, then, I don't know, it, it's hard to come back from. And that's not even to say Sev, Key Smash, and duck -a are bad players by any means. They're just as good players as the ones on Mickey Mouse, but you got to acknowledge that Nyx and Snorlax are just a little bit above the rest in terms of skill right now. Oh, yeah. I did say earlier I love it when controller play players frag out, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's like a robot. <laughs> true, true. As we see, moving in on through. Sev gets one. Looking for another. Can't quite find it, though. That could be finding two, though. With the mollies. Yeah, the mollies shredding them down to bits. Now, there's just one left. It's Cuddy. Full health. Vandal in hand. Could do something. Gets one. Gets two. Oh. Could not get more, though, as now it's 10 to 1. NT from Cuddy. You know, I remember when the trailer for Valorant came out, uh, there was a thing that said that uh, abilities weren't meant to get kills. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Um, yeah, Duck -a Doobie just proved that wrong entirely. They got two molly kills. Yeah, that um, was crazy. <laughs> unfortunate, really, but very, very well played by Tedward Gaming. This is just complete, utter dominance. Yeah, this is this is well, gonna be crazy. If they get this last round, if they win pistol in the next, I think that's it. Yeah, faster. Oh, game double than blade sword Snorlax wow. wins like, the quick draw. I mean, what else do you expect, really? Be Duck a Doobie, meanwhile, getting their own kill on the other side of the map. Cloud also getting SVV Dooms Doomsy, killing Key Smash. Meanwhile, Duck a Doobie taking another fight down short does win it out. It is a two v three. 3v2, sorry, in favor of Tedward Gaming once again. I feel like we've seen this situation many times before. Snorlax has one knife left. Do you think they can hit it? I think they can. Uh, maybe, maybe it's going to be tough. Oh, he maybe whiffs it. One, enemy remaining. one damaged. two. Buckle my shoe. Nyx is going to take that shoe and walk all the way to the second half with 11 to one. There's too many ones on the board right now. Something tells me that Nyx is also a sentinel player just because of how much they've been just like behind em enemy lines and flanking. I've seen them on flank at least three times now. They yeah, know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They have some crazy plays. I mean, that one round where they got 4K, just that with was everyone wild. rushing C long, the teleports, the mind yeah. games is absolutely amazing. That's going watch. on Twitter, for sure. For sure. That's why we have this stream, so we can clip moments like that. Exactly. And look yeah. back. Tedward Gaming starting it off strong, looking to get a majority mid push. Even the bomb is going mid, I think. But Mickey Mouse Clubhouse also kind of showing heavy presence towards mid. They might push down B here. I think they feel safe because of the mollies, but I think he Smash is going to just waltz right over top of those. Just move quick and fast. And Alex getting the first pick is going to be big. <laughs> Snorlax trying to get another Cuddy, trying to tie that one up. He knows he's low. He's landed quite a few bullets. Snorlax going to play an absolutely nasty angle right here down in the pit. Cloud going to find one, find two. It's trades Ooh. left and right. It's a 2v2 situations for the teams. Cloud going to move on further. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they're not looking too great on health as they both go down to Sev. Really. But what a good hold from Sev, honestly. Yeah, it was a great hold from seven. Now they're on match point. They have one pistol around as well. This is looking to be the final round. Right there. But hey, they have stingers. Right they, I mean, what else can you do really in a situation like you this except to. for force? But both teams are forcing, so I think this is going to be like an all-out right brawl there. kind of round. And it looks like Tedward Gaming are looking to just end it right here.
run it down C, and it seems to be a good... I, I want to know who's actually yelling for this team, because so far all the calls have been so good. This is their weakest site. Killjoy Utility is on, in Garage instead of the site. Tedward Gaming just sending it, running up as fast as they can. Doomsie stunned, trying their best to live. Ooh. Does get wow. two somehow? Sev and Key Smash, but finding their own, bringing it to a 3v3. And taking out Snorlax is a big pick as well. This is going to be a much easier 3v3 with Ant being up on the side of Mickey Mouse. Key Smash getting another, looking for one more, taking him down to 2v2. Oh, 1v2. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, it's Ant. It's the one guy you'd want to be up right now. Is up. Yep. This is it. All on the line. They're very weak. Sev just one bullet away, but he's also one bullet away as well. One bullet to the head will spell the end for Ant, but He's not going to go down without a fight. It's all down to Nyx, a star player versus star player. And what a way to keep the run alive and winning this one out. And judging the economy, they're going to be in this for a little while longer. A little bit, unless Tedward can pull off a thrifty. Honestly, very well played by Ant. If, if you want anyone to be in the clutch, it's them. It's the main fragger. How have they been doing this game recently? I don't think I've seen the scoreboard in I a I think bit. they're still top for Edgar. They're doing very, very well. Yeah, they, they are oh, 15 yeah. and 12. Doing even better than Snorlax, actually. Wow. So, Nyx is now the one in the lead after that crazy multi-kill after multi-kill. And that 10 assist is also insane the, as well. The, the impact. Like, it, it, I don't even need to say anything. Like, the score speaks for itself. Nyx has had an insane impact this game. Exactly. Now looks like instead of the C rush, we're gonna try the A rush. Go on the flip side. Ant gonna get out with a quick cheeky smoke. Right go back to Sova. Gonna try and get out of here. But they need to rush this one down. The smoke gonna delay him a little bit further. Tedward Gaming for once. It's not a bad call, but they are going to go into that site with two players and finding the first gets traded out by Sev. Cuddy is on the rotate, but I don't know if they'll make it there in time. Duck Doobie is already planting, and it is a 4v3 in favor of Tedward Gaming. And they have alt, and they use it. Doesn't hit anyone, though. A little bit of a premature use of that one. Duck Doobie just trying to stall this one out. I think they're trying to stall him as long as they can because they don't want to have to win on a gunfight, and they don't. Mm. Now Mickey Mouse Clubhouse winning another one in a row. Do you see a comeback as, as something like a half? Uh, it's it possible, but it's going to be very tough. They have to not lose a single round until they get to that 12 to 12 mark. And even then, <laughs> you still have to try and win two in a row. That's true. But also, I've seen some crazy things when it comes to, you know, like I guess technically you could come back from any score. Like just a few weeks ago. Um, did you see NRG versus C9? I did not. It was 5 to 12. Uh, I forget which team was the 5, but they came back and won. So, I mean, that kind of taught me, you know, anything is possible. <laughs> I think you're right. Anything is possible, but. It's going to be tough. I think it'll mainly come from misplays from Tedward Gaming. Hmm, if definitely. they just say, if they don't keep doing this, like what they're doing now is, I think, the worst thing they could do. Buy cheap guns, buy light shields, try and just be like, oh, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We'll get through it this time. We can win. Yeah, the ego. I think you could, but you could just, you know, burn two more rounds and have the first sure gear and know that you're most likely going to win. Hmm. I think... Judging on how they're playing, I think Tedward Gaming wants to get this over with quick. They've been doing a lot of just heavy, fast hits. Snorlax dashing in, getting two, and finding two of their own. Duckadoobie, though, trading it out, taking wow. that space. Snorlax easily getting a third, and this might just be it. Raps from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Cuddy Maybe. in a 1v2, bring, 1v3 brings it down to a 1v2. Snorlax is a bit isolated. They'll have to win this fight. Oh. And why did I even doubt them, honestly? <laughs> Snorlax gets the fourth. Tedward Gaming win Haven convincingly, 13 to three. Very convincingly, Tedward Gaming now on the Radiant scale are off the charts. They're even better than what I was saying. They're VCT national winners at this mm. point. They are playing amazingly. But props to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. They brought their A game. They kept it competitive. But, you know, Tedward Gaming was just that much better this time. Hmm. If this was the dollar store version of uh, VCT teams, I want to see other dollar store True. VCT teams. What would it be like? Tedward Gaming versus Cloud Eight. Yeah, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win? Sun Eight. Who you got? Clear Sky Eight. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah, those are the teams we want to see. I like those parody names. I want to see more of those coming forward. Mm -hmm. But what else is coming forward very soon is another round of Valorant. And I wonder if it'll be another team, two teams we haven't seen, or if it'll be a returning player. What do you think? I honestly, after that game, I want to see Tedward Gaming again. I want to see it. It was very fun to too. watch. Yeah, Nyx was absolutely amazing, and so was Snorlax. Just an absolute treat to watch. It was great to see them bring out those crazy plays. Those were like such clippable moments as well. Yeah, that like, one round where Nyx just like stood front C long, no util, no help, just gets one, and then gets stunned and TPs. It's crazy. And gets two while stunned. Insane. Absolutely like, insane. You can't make this up. You just and can't. then the one that. um. It's Snorlax did when it was the clutch. It was the one v two clutch. Yeah, they were on 20 HP. That was like just Insane. star players all around from Tedward Gaming. Very yeah. good stuff. So we're hoping to see more gameplay from Tedward Gaming. We also have other events going on here at the Summoning, so be sure to stop by for that if you're a local. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break and be right back with round three of Valorant. 